tackle one very controversial topic right now. Kasi because a couple of days ago, there was one follower who's asking, Doctora, can you talk about meningococcemia? Oh. I remember when that meningococcemia came. It's a it's a bacterial disease, okay, of the blood. Mm-hmm. By Neisseria meningitis. Everyone was so afraid of it because it's so infectious, okay? So, but we're gonna talk about that, okay? We're gonna talk about meningitis first, and then after meningitis, we're gonna talk about meningococcemia. Yung nakakatakot, di ba? So, what happened is that if you're gonna ha- if you have a meningitis, okay, this is usually caused by a bacterial so viral and a fungal infection so hindi po lahat ng meningitis is caused by a bacterial infection grabe na yes. majority is a viral infection and you usually we usually have those types of bacteria those types of viruses inside our body but it doesn't infect us well that's why okay? it's very important to always have a very very strong immune system because mm-hmm. these things are constantly out there and and, you know, affecting us and trying to invade us. Yeah, even polio. Yeah. We all have, you know, some of us can harbor the, uh, the virus. Some be of carriers. Us, yeah, we can be carriers. But we can, we are, if our, stro- if our immune system is very strong, madali lang sa atin yan, we will not be, uh, we will not be infected. So, it's very important that we, um, consider having a great nutrition. Kasi sabi ng ibang literature, if you have a great nutrition, if you have a perfect nutrition, uh, most types of illnesses can be combated by a perfect nutrition. The, the problem is we do not have a perfect uh, nutrition. And some doctors, if you ask them, what is a perfect nutrition, they do not know how to answer. Correct. Well, yeah. but, but you, on the other hand, Mom, you are <laughs> Harvard certified now in evidence-based nutrition. So I think you can probably accurately answer that question. Yeah, but, but it's, uh, to, uh, to talk about that, it's going to take a while. Oh, right. I think the one hour is not enough it's to not talk enough. about the perfect nutrition. Because perfect nutrition starts from the soil. Uh, ano yan eh? It's a, it's, um, um, the community is involved uh, starting from the farmer the farmers mm-hmm. are the ones that are responsible mostly responsible because they are the ones that cultivating the soil so kung if you have a farmer that is irresponsible like so, someone burning burning off mm-hmm. the soil so irresponsible when they're trying to grow their uh, <clears throat> crops then of course the people that are eating those crops are also affected. Going back to meningitis, so usually yung virus, bacteria, or uh, fungal fungal uh, organism, they would go to the meninges. So the meninges, that's the covering of your spinal cord and of your brain. So they get inflamed. So nagkakaroon po yan ng inflammation. And if, of course, if you have inflammation, the classical signs and symptoms of fever, headache, so it's all there, nagkakaroon ng local rigidity. And they are usually treated, if it's, a, if it's a bacterial infection, they're usually treated with a antibiotic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, but the other types, if it's a virus, it cannot be treated by uh, an antibiotic. So if you have a viral infection and you are prescribed an antibiotic, you simply need to Mm-mm. ask why. Um, because it will... It will not. It will not help. Not help at all. But the thing is, this is this is what most doctors are thinking because if you have a viral infection, you are immunocompromised. Mm-hmm. So if you are immunocompromised, you are most likely to have a concurrent bacterial infection. So they would also give some antibiotics along the way as a prophylactic yeah. measure, which is not a smart measure. That's mm-hmm. what leads to antibiotic resistant bacteria. Mm-hmm. Yes. So what about meningococcemia? So ang meningococcemia naman po, it's the bacteria Neisseria meningitidis. Yung po yung bacteria, it goes to the bloodstream. Okay? And then you would have clotting uh, factors difficulty. So nagkakaroon ka na, that's why you have rashes, tiba. So you have the typical purple, purple, greenish, bluish uh, rash all over the body because it affects the blood primarily, meningococcemia. But that's a rare condition. Yun lang, it's very scary. Of course, of course, if it's a disease, whatever disease it is, if uh, 
the the patient is immunocompromised, mababa talaga yung immune system, talagang nakakatakot. Oh. But for the majority of people, if you have a very strong immune system, kayang-kaya yan ng uh, ating pong immune system. Okay, so don't be afraid. We just have to be vigilant when it comes to that. And uh, Jehovah has given us all of the soldiers inside our body. We just have to fortify it with proper nutrition. Okay, so I hope that I was able to answer about meningococcemia po and meningitis for all of you. Again, I just want to reiterate, important na we have a very strong immune system. Importante lagi yan. And we can achieve them through perfect diet. Okay, perfect diet and exercise of course and less stress.